Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are here at the Shell Eco Marathon with University Laval. They're a team that's had great success here at the Eco Marathon. Um, so I'm here with Lewis and he's going to kind of walk us through this car, talk about the different ways that they were able to achieve a high efficiency out on the track and take home some wins here at the Eco Marathon. So Lewis, what are some of the strategies that you guys use uh, with this vehicle as far as what type of fuel, what, what type of engine are you using on this uh, vehicle out there on the track? Uh, first of all, we use uh, gasoline uh, for the, the fuel. Uh, we are in the category prototype and uh, the strategy we use is uh, to have a lightweight vehicle, a reliability uh, engine that consumes uh, very low and after that the uh, component that very lightweight but strong enough to uh, to tough the run so can we take a look at the engine um, and see kind of how your power is getting to the wheels yeah right here is our uh, engine block so what size displacement is this engine it's a 39 cc okay yeah it has a, a base of bridge and stratton and uh, a head of yamaha scooter Okay. And we uh, partially custom. Uh, we stroke the stroke down the uh, the, the cylinder. So how much power is this producing? Uh, about 1.9 horsepower. 1.9 horsepower. Yeah. yeah. And so, what are you? What type of speeds are you trying to reach out there? And then I'm guessing that you kind of cut off the fuel and uh, then coast for a bit. Yeah. And your strategy is start and stop. Uh, we uh, run the engine until we uh, top about 35 kilometer per hour okay and after that we uh, run uh, stop the engine and run and we uh, restart the engine at about uh, 15 uh, 15 kilometer per hour okay and and how many it's miles like per gallon have you been able to achieve with this vehicle uh, last year uh, we made a, a record a North American record and we made over three uh, three thousand uh, five hundred 3,500? 3,500. 3,500 miles per gallon. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Mm. Um, so if you could kind of walk me through basically where our air is coming in, where our fuel is going in, where they're mixing, um, and how that power is getting to the rear wheel. Yeah, nice. Uh, first of all, you, we have the, the fuel here. Okay. Uh, 30 uh, millimeters uh, tank. Um, the line goes around uh, here, and we have a pressure red tank that uh, made pressure in the line to injection so fuel. you're only carrying 35 milliliters of fuel out there yeah for the whole run for the six miles yeah and we take uh, we run uh, uh, earlier this day and we take just that and wow. it's, it's not a very good run you know mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, the guys come here okay. uh, engines uh, electronic injection injection the air intake is just air and okay. we, we have a uh, three uh, uh, valve, three valve, two for the, the intake, one for the exhaust. Okay, three valves, two intake, one exhaust. Yeah, and after that, uh, a camshaft, overhead camshaft. Okay. Uh, and uh, the clutch is right here under the carbon fiber cover. Okay. And we utilize a chain to uh, power the wheel. Now, if we could kind of talk about the body of the vehicle, um, what you've done to maximize efficiency and reduce weight. Okay, uh, we made uh, the shell. Uh, we designed it with a supercomputer at university. Wow. Uh, with uh, the aid of, of a professor that very good with that. It's a super calcul and everything like that. And we have a drag coefficient about uh, uh, 0.07. Wow. That's, Close uh, to a raindrop. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's very very good. It's probably the better shell in North America. So, what are some of the the main things that you want to do in order to get that drag coefficient that low? To have a, a great coefficient, we made a a profile of aircraft wings okay. to the shell. Okay. And that's provide a, a very good result. After that, we have a. The carbon fiber uh, shell, monocoque. How much does this uh, total car weigh? Uh, this year it's weighed about 89 pounds. 89 pounds, yeah. wow. That's very lightweight. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if we kind of talk about the controls uh, from the driver point of view, 
what we've got going on inside the cabin. Yeah, uh, our pilots uh, sit here, the head here, feet in the front. Okay. And after that, there is a uh, direction here. We have a little problem uh, today with the, the controller that's here and, and the, the display. But uh, we were quick fix with a, a bike. Uh, bike so were uh, you able to get in a successful run this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made uh, one run, 10 laps. Okay. Uh, this was not a very good run, but not bad. We, uh, we score okay. Okay, what, yeah. what kind of... Uh... A little bit, I don't know very precise, but they talk about over uh, 900 kilometer per liter. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Still very good. Yeah, it's good, but for us, it, <laughs> it's all just okay. <laughs> we want more. Impressive. Yeah. Mm. After that, we use Michelin tire. Uh, in the front, it's radial tire. Um, less friction on the road. Okay. And, uh, and today we don't we don't change the back tire, but we will do it because this one is produce more friction than okay. the front. Radial tire are better than this. Now, one. do you have different tires uh, for when it is raining out there? Is that a consideration, or is it pretty much just whatever the conditions are? These tires are pretty optimal for it. Uh, yeah, but this tire is produced by Michelin and designed for super mid age okay. run. Okay. That's the best tire out there. And we uh, this year we made carbon fiber wheels, okay. uh, designed it, uh, made it, not this one. Uh, we don't test it uh, today. We try to make a good run with the, this setup. Okay. And after that, if we have a, a good score, we'll try to swap order. them out and see if you can get an improvement on it. Yeah, because the wheel are a little bit lighter, but not not too much. But they are stiffer than this wheel. Well, thank you so much for taking me through the car, and best of luck out there. Yeah, thank you, Jaden.